we'll uh, we'll close out this portion of the show before we get to the interview with Parker Fleming, and make sure that you stick around for that, of course, because he is highly entertaining. So make sure that you stick around for it. Chris, I wanted to bring up a, a weird news story. We do this every now and then, and this one kind of caught my eye. You you know how I've brought up multiple times about Guinness Book of World Records stuff, right? Okay. We have a new one. All right. A Nebraska man set a new world record by completing 60 skydiving jumps in 24 hours while dressed in nothing but his safety equipment. Naked so skydiving. So he was free ball? Free balling. Straight up, nothing on but the safety equipment. Did it 60 times within 24 hours. Now, this is Rian Canoof of so Omaha. Has somebody done it more than 60 times in 24 hours, but with clothes on? No, no, no. no. This, so he so just here, wanted to pull his dick out. Yes, 100%. So let, I'll, I'll read you uh, I'll read you this story right quick. He contacted the Guinness World Records about setting the record for the most naked skydiving jumps in 24 hours. The group said that he could create the new record category if he performed at least 25 jumps in the time period. Uh, Knuth said it is an informal tradition for skydivers to perform their 100th jump in the nude, and he came up with the idea to set the naked skydiving world record as a fundraiser for a mental health charity after the recent death of a friend. He said, my friend that we lost to mental health issues was about that close to his 100th jump, and he said it was close enough that he talked about it all the time, and he didn't get to make it. So I'm out here for him and a lot of other people that we lost. He ended his attempt with 60 completed naked jumps over Weeping Water, Nebraska. Uh, his attempt raised money for the Movember Foundation, which is a charity dedicated to men's mental health and suicide prevention. But this is one that he just, he made it up. He called Guinness and was like, hey, I want to set a record for this. And they said, shit, all right, cool. Like, <laughs> whatever you want to do, bro, we'll put you the, in the book. The, the naked part is weird to me. I, I understand, I guess, why they you do it. I, I don't know. So I, <laughs> I have more of a question than anything. So... We know how men react to cold water, right? Yes. What do you think like the cold of the air falling does the same thing? I notice it does not say like how high up he went. Um I, I mean 60 times in 24 hours to get a plane off the ground. Let me tell you who's not enough. happy about this. All right. Your your Green New Deal folks are not <laughs> pleased that this fool <laughs> is taking a private plane up in the air just to jump out of the son of a bitch 60 times in Multiple one day. Times. We're trying to save the damn earth, and this bastard's gotta pull his cock out 60 times. Yes, and and fly. Basically. He's gotta fall to the earth, load up, go get in another plane. Like sixty times to skydive, it could not. They could not have gone up that high, right? It's weird. It's weird. It's, it's weird. Yeah. It's weird. I, I just, I, I don't even, under, I don't understand. Like this try stuff. to do something. And it, okay, this is what's weird to me. Like you did all this to fundraise. Like, did people give you money? Yes. Yes. Why? Why would anybody give him money? Like, just donate to these charities. You don't have to give him money. I mean, you like, got look, me. If you want to, <clears throat> listen, we should raise money for mental health issues and, and we should help folks that, that need help. I'm, I'm a huge advocate of that. I don't need some naked guy jumping out of an airplane to do that. He, uh, he raised Whatever, all the money that he spent flying this plane up and down. Why didn't he just give it to them? Tell the, tell your friend's story and ask for money. You could have got the same amount of money, all the money you spent on gas and a pilot and all this other bullshit. You, you could have just gone put to towards the charity. Yeah. I don't but, think anybody's going to pay you. Maybe jump once naked because he missed his 100 jump. That's fine. You got to pull your dick out. You get the world to be free. That's fine. 59 times? No. You want your name in a book. This yes. is about you. Don't make it look like you're doing this for charity. This is about you wanting your name in a book. I do believe that people caught on to exactly what you were saying. Uh, he set a target of $5,000 that he wanted to raise for charity. He raised two thousand one hundred and fifty. I'm gonna bet it costs more than five thousand dollars unless he owns the plane and the pilot's a friend. If you had to rent a plane, hire a pilot, and pay for fuel, five thousand dollars isn't even going to cover your expenses for the day of going up and down ten uh, sixty times. Yes, I'm you're, gonna bet not even close. By the way, yeah, I, I, I bet it's. Because hey, you're to gonna double. have to have multiple pilots yeah. because they can only fly so many hours a day. So. No, that's, yeah, this is insane. 
Yes. Like, like he raised two thousand bucks. <laughs> I bet this thing cost him ten thousand bucks. Yes, I was going to say. I bet it was double. Congratulations! The charity got nothing, and huh. he got his name in a book, it's and he insane. got to pull his dick out a lot. <laughs> Don't we put those people on a list? We should. Like, like if, like if you just walked around downtown Memphis uh, and just pulled your dick out, be like, oh, whoop, it's my hundredth time dancing on Bill. Let me pull my dick out. <laughs> Like you're now a sexual predator. Congratulations! It's, yes, we now your have name your goes name on a list, and you can't hang out around yes, schools. You're in a different list that you have yeah. your name printed like, elsewhere. Like, we're going to put your name <laughs> in a book, by the way, but it's a different book. And in, in this book, you have to go introduce yourself to all of your to neighbors all of your every neighbors time you move. And say, "Please keep your child out from my arm." <laughs> yes, I I cannot be around your children. I apologize. Weird, weird. A lot oh. of I don't judge folks for their sexual stuff, but I, you know, I this is weird. It, it doing stuff is. in the name of charity always makes me raise a, a little, you know, cross-eyed because I, yes. what happens when you get old, you just become a cynical bastard. You don't trust anybody. You wanted to do this to get famous. And now you're going to say, well, I'm going to do it for charity for my, my friend that killed himself. I'm sorry for your friend. And I think we should do everything we can to stop that. Okay? Yes. You jumping 60 times and getting famous ain't helping your friend. And it ain't helping people like your friend. No, it is not at all. All right, let's wrap up today's show. Uh, of course, uh, we're going to do a little ad. But then after the ad, we have a uh, an interview with Parker Fleming at Stats of War on Twitter. I'll do a full introduction whenever we actually get to the interview. But uh, fascinating listen. Incredibly smart guy. Uh, as I say on that, he is smarter than me at everything that I want to be smart at. So make sure and listen in to him. He is fantastic. We talk a lot about TCU. He is a massive TCU guy. Actually has uh, purpletheory.substack.com. That's his newsletter about TCU and the Big 12 and whatnot. Super smart dude. Make sure and listen to it. Uh, as far as we go, winningcureseverything.com. That's the site, sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. We do the college football show on Wednesdays. You can go find it on YouTube. Just search out SBR Picks. And, uh, and if you are listening to this, that means that you have the podcast already. So just make sure that you are subscribed to it. We appreciate you supporting us and downloading and listening and all that fun stuff. Hopefully we are entertaining. If we are, tell somebody. Tell a friend about it. All that good stuff. You know, word of mouth is uh, is the best way for us because you guys actually are our advertising department. So, with that said, Chris, is there anything else that you want to hit on today? Nope, that's it, bro. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.